and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia Smith of Journey Chanel Designs and today we will be making the Ensley Tee. It is a top-down raglan style top. It has zero to two inches of positive ease and for this example I will be showing you size large and size extra large. If you are a different size, please follow the written pattern and follow along with the video. For this pattern, you will work top down, no sewing, so you can try it on as you go. For the original example, I used Avery Lane Creations Tweed DK Weight Yarn in the color Coral. For this example though, I will be using Knit Picks and We Crochet's Memento Yarn, which is also a DK weight yarn, in the color Indigo Bunting. You can see how soft it really is. You can use any DK weight yarn as long as you match gauge. You will also need a size 5 millimeter hook, H hook. You will need a pair of scissors and a measuring tape. Let's get started. To start the yoke, you are going to make a slip knot. And you're going to chain 86 for sizes large and extra large. Once you are done, make sure you do not twist your chain and you are going to slip stitch to the first chain that you made to create a circle. Now you're going to chain one and single crochet in the first or same chain. Single crochet in the next chain. Single crochet in the next chain. Single crochet in the next chain. And you're going to repeat all the way around for a total of 62 single crochet stitches. Once you have 62 stitches, you're going to chain 22 for sizes large and extra large. Once you're done with your 22 chains, you're going to skip to the last two chains. You're going to single crochet in the second to last chain and single crochet in the last chain. So you will have 22 skipped chains and now you're going to slip stitch to your first single crochet stitch. You should have a total of 64 single crochet stitches and 22 chains for sizes large and extra large. Now you're going to chain three and make a herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through your first loop, yarn over, pull through your next loop, yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. Again, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through your first loop, yarn over, pull through the next loop, yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. Now you just made an increase to create your first corner. So now you're going to make a regular herringbone double crochet stitch in the next stitch. So again, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through your first loop, yarn over, pull through the next loop, yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through the next loop, yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. And now you're going to repeat across for a total of 13 herringbone double crochets in all for sizes large and extra large. Once you have 13 
herringbone double crochets. You're going to make two herringbone double crochets in the next stitch. This will be your second corner. Now you're going to make two more herringbone double crochet stitches in the next stitch. As you can see, it creates a corner and you will be working between those for the next round. Now you're going to make a regular herringbone double crochet in the next stitch and work all the way across for a total of 26 herringbone double crochet stitches for sizes large and extra large. Once you have finished with those 26 stitches, you're going to make another corner. So two herringbone double crochet stitches in the next stitch. two herringbone double crochet stitches in the next stitch and this will be your third corner. Now you're going to make a regular herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. For a total of 13 stitches for sizes large and extra large. Once you have finished with the 13 stitches, you're going to make another corner. So again, two herringbone double crochets in the next stitch. Two herringbone double crochets in the next stitch, and this will be your fourth corner. Now you're going to make a regular herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. And now make two herringbone double crochet stitches in the next stitch. And this should be your last stitch just before your chains. See, a double, a single, and a double. Now you're going to chain nine for sizes large and extra large. Now for this next part, you're going to locate your first foundation chain. You're going to find your middle or center chain and you're going to insert your hook over both chains. Now you're going to puff stitch. So you're going to yarn over your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain. Again, working over both yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook in the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all but the last loop, yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. You have finished the first puff stitch and again you will be working over the first and second chains from rounds one and two. You're going to chain one and now you're going to puff stitch in the same chain creating a puff V stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook in the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook in the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all but the last loop, yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. And this is your puff V stitch. Puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch. Now you're going to chain nine for sizes large and extra large. You're going to skip to the next single crochet stitch and you're going to make two herringbone double crochet stitches in that first single crochet stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. And now to complete the first corner, you're going to make a herringbone double crochet in the same stitch as the beginning chain three. And now you're going to slip stitch to the third chain of the beginning chain three to finish off the row. Now you should have 94 stitches for sizes large and extra large. You're going to chain three and turn your work. And the chain three counts as your first stitch. Now you're going to herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. Herringbone double crochet 
herringbone double crochet in the next stitch herringbone double crochet in the next stitch and now you should make two herringbone double crochets in that last stitch before the back chain Now you're going to chain 18 for sizes large and extra large. Once you have all 18 chains, you're going to skip to the next stitch and make two herringbone double crochets in the next stitch. Herringbone double crochet 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 in the next stitch. Now you're going to be working in the corner between the two sets of herringbone double crochets. You're going to make a puff B stitch set. So you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into that space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all but the last loop. Yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. And a chain one. And now you're going to make a puff stitch in that same space. Yarn over, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all but the last loop. Yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. And that is your puff V stitch on the corner now you're going to make a herringbone double crochet in the next stitch herringbone double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to repeat across until you have a total of 17 herringbone stitches for sizes large and extra large you're going to puff v stitch in that next corner space 30 herringbone double crochets on the front Puff V stitch in the next corner. 17 herringbone double crochets. And then a puff V stitch in the last corner. Once you have finished in the last corner, you're going to slip stitch to your beginning chain three. You should have 102 stitches for sizes large and extra large. Turn your work. You're going to slip stitch to your first puff stitch. Now you're going to chain three, which again counts as your first stitch. And you're going to make a puff V stitch in the same chain one space below. So again, a puff V stitch is a puff stitch, chain one puff stitch. In the same space now you're going to herringbone double crochet in the top of the puff stitch from the previous row and now you're going to herringbone double crochet in the next stitch for a total of 17 stitches along the side now you're going to make a herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch you're going to make a puff b stitch in the chain one space you're going to make a herringbone double crochet in the last puff stitch. Now you're going to make 30 herringbone double crochets across the front. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. 
puff these stitch in the chain one space and puff stitch in the next puff stitch make 17 herringbone double crochets across the side herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch puff v stitch in the chain one space herringbone double crochet in the last puff stitch and now you're going to make herringbone double crochet in the next five stitches ending just before the last stitch make two herringbone double crochets in the last stitch before the back chain Now you're going to chain seven for sizes large and extra large. Now you're going to be working over the chain from the previous row and into the chain one puff B stitch from the row below that. You're going to make a puff B stitch in that same chain one space. And like I said, make sure you work over the chain from the previous row so it is in the back V. Now chain seven. And make two herringbone double crochets in the next available stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. And in the remaining stitches ending in your slip stitch from the previous row. Now you're going to slip stitch to your beginning chain three to finish off the row. You're going to slip stitch to the first puff stitch. You should have 110 stitches for sizes large and extra large. Chain three counts as your first stitch and you're going to turn your work. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch working over the slip stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next seven stitches, ending in the second to last stitch before your back chain. Once you have reached that, you're going to make two herringbone double crochets in the last stitch before the back chain. Now you're going to chain 14 for sizes large and extra large. Herringbone double crochet for a total of seven stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space. Herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 19 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 32 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space. Herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 19 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space. And you'll end there. Once you have finished, you're going to slip stitch to your beginning chain three to finish the round. You should have 118 stitches for sizes large and extra large. You're gonna turn your work you're going to slip stitch into the first puff stitch, chain three, which counts as your first stitch. Make a puff V stitch in the chain one space below.
You're now going to make a herringbone double crochet in the puff stitch below, which will be your second puff stitch of the puff V stitch set. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. For a total of 21 stitches across the side, herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the chain one space, and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet the next 34 stitches, herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the next chain one space, herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 21 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the next chain one space. Herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next nine stitches. Ending in your second to last stitch. Once you have finished in your second to last stitch, you're going to make two herringbone double crochets in the last stitch. Now you're going to chain five for sizes large and extra large. You're going to work over the chain from the previous row and work into the chain one space of the puff V stitch and make your next puff V stitch set. Chain five. Make two herringbone double crochets in the next herringbone double crochet stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. For a total of nine stitches, working over that last slip stitch. To show here, herringbone double crochet over the slip stitch. Now you're going to slip stitch to your beginning chain three. You're going to slip stitch to your first puff stitch. You should have 126 stitches for sizes large and extra large. Now you're going to chain three, which counts as your first stitch, and turn your work. You're going to herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. And in each stitch for a total of 11 stitches in all, ending in your second to last stitch. Once you have finished in your second to last stitch, you're going to make two herringbone double crochets in the last stitch before your back V. You're going to chain 10 for sizes large and extra large. And you're going to skip to the next herringbone double crochet and make two herringbone double crochets in that stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. And in each stitch across for a total of 11 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space. And herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 23 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 36 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 23 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space. Once you have finished with your last puff V stitch set, you're going to slip stitch to the beginning chain three to finish your round. You should have 134 stitches for sizes large and extra large. You're going to turn your work. 
slip stitch into the first puff stitch chain three which counts as your first stitch and you're going to make a puff b stitch set in the chain one space below Now you're going to herringbone double crochet in the puff stitch below, which is your second puff stitch of the puff B stitch set. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. Herringbone double crochet for a total of 25 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff B stitch in the chain one space. And herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 38 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the chain one space, and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 25 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the chain one space, and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 13 stitches. Once you are done with 13 stitches, you're going to make two herringbone double crochet stitches in the last stitch before the back chain. You're going to chain three, and again, you're going to work over the previous chain and work into the chain one space and make a puff V stitch set in the chain one space. Chain three, two herringbone double crochet stitches in the next herringbone double crochet stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch for a total of 13 stitches ending over your slip stitch at the beginning. Once you're done, you're going to slip stitch to be getting chain three, slip stitch to your first puff stitch. You should have a total of 142 stitches for sizes large and extra large. Chain three, turn your work, herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. And each stitch across for a total of 15 stitches. Once you're done, you're going to make two herringbone double crochet stitches in that last stitch before the back chain. Now you're going to chain six. two herringbone double crochets in the next herringbone double crochet stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. In each stitch across for a total of 15 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space. And herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 27 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space. And herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 40 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space. And herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 27 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space. 
Once you're done with the last puff V stitch set, you're going to slip stitch to your beginning chain 3. You should have a total of 150 stitches for sizes large and extra large. Turn your work, slip stitch into the first puff stitch, chain 3. Puff V stitch in the chain 1 space below. Herringbone double crochet in the puff stitch below. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. For a total of 29 stitches, herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the chain one space, and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 42 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the chain one space, and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 29 stitches, herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the chain one space, and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 17 stitches, ending in your second to last stitch. Once you have finished with your second to last stitch, you're going to make two herringbone double crochets in the last stitch. Now you're going to chain one and you're going to work over the chain from the previous row and make a puff V stitch in the chain one space below. Chain 1, 2 herringbone double crochets in the next herringbone double crochet stitch, herringbone double crochet in the next stitch, for a total of 17 stitches ending in your last stitch. Once you have finished in your last stitch, you're going to slip stitch to your beginning chain 3, slip stitch to your first puff stitch. You should have 158 stitches for size large. You're going to chain 3 and turn your work. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. For a total of 19 stitches in all, ending in your second to last stitch. Once you have finished in your second to last stitch, you're going to make two herringbone double crochets in the last stitch. Chain two. Two herringbone double crochets in the next herringbone double crochet stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. And in each stitch across for a total of 19 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 31 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 44 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 31 stitches. 
herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the chain one space. Once you're done with the last puff V stitch set, you're going to slip stitch to your beginning chain three. You should have 166 stitches for sizes large and extra large. Turn your work, slip stitch to the first puff stitch, chain three, puff V stitch in the chain space below. Herringbone double crochet in the puff stitch below. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. For a total of 33 stitches, herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the chain one space, and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 46 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the chain one space, and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 33 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the chain one space, and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 22 stitches, ending in your last stitch before the back V chain. Now we are going to close off the back V so you're going to make a herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch of the puff V stitch from the previous row making sure to work over the chain 2 space. You're going to make a herringbone double crochet in the next puff stitch working over the chain 2 space and now you're going to make one Herringbone double crochet in the next herringbone double crochet stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. And in each stitch all the way across, ending in your last stitch. Once you have finished in your last stitch, you're going to slip stitch to your beginning chain three. You're going to slip stitch to your first puff stitch. You should have 174 stitches for size large and extra large. You're going to turn your work, chain three or chain three and turn your work. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat all the way across for a total of 48 stitches in all. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the chain one space, and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 35 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch, puff V stitch in the chain one space, and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 48 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space. And herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next 35 stitches. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space. Once you're done with the puff V stitch, you're going to slip stitch to your beginning chain three. You should have 182 stitches for sizes large and extra large, and this is what it should look like so far. Now you're going to turn your work, slip stitch to your first puff stitch. You're going to chain three. And puff V stitch in the chain one space below.
herringbone double crochet in the puff stitch below herringbone double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch for a total of 37 stitches in all herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch puff v stitch in the chain one space and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch herringbone double crochet in the next 50 stitches herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch puff v stitch in the chain one space and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch herringbone double crochet in the next 37 stitches herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch puff v stitch in the chain one space and herringbone double crochet in the second puff stitch herringbone double crochet in the next 50 stitches ending in your last stitch once you have finished your last stitch you're going to slip stitch to the beginning chain three slip stitch to your first puff stitch you should have 190 stitches for sizes large and extra large you're going to chain three and turn your work you're going to repeat rounds 14 through 15 one more time for a total of 17 rounds you should have 206 stitches by the time you're done and this is what it should look like when you're finished we will now be folding the yoke in half to connect together to create the armholes in the body so you're going to make a herringbone double crochet in the next stitch herringbone double crochet in the next stitch herringbone double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to repeat all the way across for a total of 56 stitches for size large and extra large you're then going to make a herringbone double crochet stitch in the first puff stitch you're going to make a puff v stitch in the chain one space below And now you're going to connect to the other corner so you're going to chain one for a size large and chain seven for a size extra large you can see that's going to create the armhole now you're going to make a puff v stitch in the next chain one space of the next corner puff v stitch set you will be skipping the side entirely And this is what it'll look like when you're done. Now you're going to herringbone double crochet in the puff stitch below. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. And in each stitch all the way across for a total of 56 stitches for sizes large and extra large. Once you're done, you're going to herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space below. You're going to chain one for size large or chain seven for size extra large and you're going to connect to your first corner you're going to make a puff v stitch in the last puff v stitch chain one space Once you're done, you're going to slip stitch to the beginning chain three. You should have 126 stitches for size large and 138 stitches for size extra large. 
You're going to turn your work, slip stitch to the first puff stitch, chain three, which counts as your first stitch. You will now make a decrease in the chain one space and last puff stitch. So you're going to yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the chain one space, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through the next loop, yarn over again and insert your hook into the last puff stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through the next loop, yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. And that is a herringbone double crochet two together. Herringbone double crochet in the chain one or chain seven space, depending on if you're doing large or extra large. Herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. And now you're going to make a decrease again. So yarn over, insert your hook into the chain one space. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through the first loop. Yarn over, pull through the next loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the last puff stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through the first loop. Yarn over, pull through the next loop. Yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. And that is a herringbone double crochet, two together, or a decrease. Now you're going to herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. Herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat all the way across, ending just before your next puff V stitch set. Once you're done, you're going to make a herringbone double crochet in the first puff stitch. You're going to make a herringbone double crochet two together in the chain one space and last puff stitch. Then you're going to make a herringbone double crochet in the chain one or chain seven space, depending on if you're making large or extra large. Herringbone double crochet in the next puff stitch. Herringbone double crochet two together in the next chain one and last puff stitch. Now you're going to half double crochet all the way across, ending in your last stitch. Now you're going to slip stitch to your beginning chain three. You should have 126 stitches for size large and 138 stitches for size extra large. Slip stitch to the first decrease. And now you're going to slip stitch one for size large and four for extra large. This is moving your seam to the center of your armhole. Once you're done, you're going to chain two, which does not count as a stitch. And you're going to turn your work. You're going to herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. 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 And you're going to repeat all the way around, ending in your last stitch. Once you have finished in your last stitch, you're going to herringbone double crochet in the same stitch as your beginning chain two. You're going to slip stitch to your first stitch. You should have 126 stitches for size large and 138 stitches for size extra large. Now you're going to repeat round three 35 more times for a total of 38 body rounds for sizes large and extra large. And this is what it'll look like when you're done. You have now finished the Ensley T in sizes large and extra large. Your top should have zero to two inches of positive ease. Please see the pattern to determine the best size for you. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos for you. Have a good day.